Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Hey, can we call for that daily bread? I know today's Friday. Praise God. So, so let's call for enough, <laughs> enough daily bread that will last through the whole weekend. Are you ready? Join me right now in faith and say, Father, I demand right now my daily bread. And I demand what I need for this whole weekend. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And now, I, I was sharing with you yesterday about first fruit. And I, I told you how it's important and, and what the purpose of it. For, I not, why am I telling you these things? I'm telling you how to attract the voice of God to your life. That's the purpose I'm sharing these things with you. How to attract the voice, because you need this in every area of your life. So when it comes to marking your territories, when it comes to securing your job, when it comes to um, whatever you're engaged in, a business that you just started and you want to secure it, I'm teaching you the secret. If you learn from it, it will be well with you. If you sit down there and say, oh, hey, hey, ask God. Well, I'm not telling you to bring your money to me. <laughs> Praise God. If I'm not your priest, you'll be wasting your time. Except you hear the Lord expressly commands you. Praise God. Now, because that's the truth. So, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, I said, the giving of fresh fruits is to secure your territory. How do you secure your territory? You are coming to the Lord and you are saying, Lord, I bring this report that I have come to the land that you commanded me to. Now, if you practice this, I am Mukali Kata, Greg Emeyande, Enikubu Safi Atabara Kataya. The Lord is increasing his children in wisdom and in knowledge. And by that wisdom, they will express themselves on the earth. And their light will burst out and illuminate the whole earth. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. Now then, so when you bring the first fruit, you are reporting to heaven that you have entered that place and the place is a good place because now you have come with the fruits of that which is very important because anywhere god sends you to he's sending you there for a reason and whatever that reason is there are fruits that you will take from that place so now you are coming with the first of those fruits and you're reporting to the Lord. So you are establishing actually. Now God has actually established a covenant with you and that place. Now you by giving of your first fruit is confirming the covenant of that place. Now what that means is this. Number one, the ground in that place. Now that's why I say when you are bringing your first fruit, you don't just give it anyhow. Why? Because the word, the word of God must be released to your life. So when you take your first fruit to your pastor, you must tell him that this is the first fruit. And I pray he understands this. Now, now if you're doing this from the Lord, in other words, you, you, the pastor is now your just delivering point. But you know how to fellowship with the Lord. See, the truth is this. The Lord will open his mouth and cause his word to come to you. So when you are giving it, pay attention to the words that will be spoken. Because they are very important. Oh, I'm giving, I'm giving the offering. Oh, oh, oh sir, please, I want to give my first fruit. I'll just send it to the account. Okay, God bless you, God bless you. Uh-uh, uh-uh. And, and, and I speak to priests, I speak to men of God. Because many don't understand this thing. So even when the Spirit of God is, is they, they still resist the Holy Spirit. When someone is bringing his first fruits to you, 
It's beyond money that they are bringing to you. Now, let me read that scripture in Ezekiel chapter 44, verse 30. Yeah, thank you, Lord Jesus. Ezekiel 44, verse 30. It says, And the first of all the first fruits of all things, and every oblation of all, of every sort of your oblation, shall be the priest. Note, it says, Shall be the priest. Ye shall also give unto the priest the first of your dough. You see that? You give the priest the first of your dough. That now, this is the purpose. That he, the priest, may cause the blessing to rest in thine house. Who will cause the blessing to rest in your house? He didn't say that God may cause the blessing. The priest, that the priest may cause the blessing to rest in your house. May God help you if you don't have a priest over your life. Now, some people think these things are not important. Oh, may God help you and open your eyes and open your understanding. There are things we, can, we cannot explain enough to you. That's why I'm praying for you. It doesn't matter who you are. God said, I will give you pastors after my heart. When God said this, there were no Church of United International Ministries. God didn't say this in the New Testament. Praise God. He said it to the children of Israel. I will give you pastors after my heart. And they will feed you. He, he rebuked pastors in Jeremiah. So even in the days of Jeremiah, he was talking about pastors. Because, you know, why did he use the word pastors, not, not, not priests there? Because he was talking about the priestly ministry that watches over people. There are priests that watches just like we have angels. See, also in the physical, we have those who have been anointed as priests. So you have priests who watch over certain people. And, and, and now God says, I will give you priests or I will give you pastors. Um, the, the, the pastor is a priest, but the assignment of that pastoral ministry is to deliberately watch over people. All right. So now he says, the pastor will cause the blessing to rest in your heart house so i speak to you pastor someone comes to me and say oh i'm bringing my first fruit don't just receive it casually and be one who remembers the word of the lord because every word that comes out of your mouth will be fulfilled so notice that you're carrying out a very important assignment over that person's life that you may cause the blessing to rest. It's not you that brings the blessing. It is the Lord. But then you are the one that will cause it. You see the transaction in that in, in the first fruit? They obey the Lord and then they bring the first fruit over to you. Then your job is to connect with the mind of heaven and confirm by causing the blessing to rest in their house. So, you know, from that day, I'm watching this person make progress. Now, anything that, if the person calls you and says, um, Sir, Pastor, someone is threatening me in my job. You just know that, hey, I see, all you need to do at that point is to awaken the ground over that person's life. <laughs> you know, there are things we do. Do. Now, now, I have some of my sons and, and, and daughters, you know, they call me and say, oh, see what's going on, see what's going on. I said, really? Is that all? Say yes. Okay. This is what you do. You go to that place, speak the dust and speak these words. Now, I, I say that casually. 
And the reason is because there are things they have done. You understand? So when we teach these things, we are teaching these things so that in the day of trouble, because there will be the day of trouble. The Bible says there's an evil day. In the day of trouble, we don't start running helter skelter. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Remember. Remember who this person is. Oh, yeah. Rise up and defend you. The ground itself knows its job. It is the ground. It is not, not your pastor that will come and defend you. The ground upon which you have obeyed the Lord. That job by which you have obeyed the Lord for. And you have honored the Lord. I command separate. Who is he that would threaten you? Who? Who? And when it's time for you to leave that place, that place will connect you to the next place that you're going. Now that's how you secure your destiny. Not for you to be jumping from here. Uh, uh, they, they fired me at work. I resigned at work. I didn't like what they were doing. And then for the next six, five months, you're thinking, oh God, what do I do? What do I do? What? No, sir. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Your life ought to be in transitions. When you're done from this place, this place will connect you to the next place. Because it, it's bearing witness that you have finished your job in this place. It will open up and throw you to the next place. This is the life of a child of God, brothers and sisters. Now, this is first fruit. This is why we give first fruit. And you need to understand these things. You get into a new land. Come on, what do you do first? The first, whatever, you call it gift. You got a job in a new land. Hi, commando friend Isha. Report yourself before the Lord. Lord, I have come here and this is the first thing I have received. What are you doing? What are you doing? You are securing your destiny. You are securing your territory. And watch how that ground opens itself and protects you. Watch how that ground opens itself and prospers you. You know, it's funny because a lot of people, what, what did God say? My people are destroyed for what? Lack of knowledge. They start running helter skelter. Oh, hey, this, ah, this, hey, this. Oh, Lord, hey, hey, this. This was is troubling me. This person is troubling me. Forget about who's troubling you. If you do, you remember Cain. You know, when Cain went before the Lord, oh, God said, Cain, what's wrong with you? Said, oh, you accepted my brother. He said, if you have done what was right, you would have been accepted. Because Abel did what was right and God accepted him. Even the ground accepted him. But God told Cain, you have not done what is right. That's why see, sin is lying at the door. All your agitation is because of sin. But if you do what is right, you will be made free from it. Sometimes these little things that we do, as act of obedience from the Lord brings great deliverance in our lives. Saves you from lots of things people run around called battle. Just simple obedience that you obey. It secures your destiny. And as you go on following the Lord, the Lord will begin to teach you a lot of things. Ah, I pray the Lord help us because before the end of the month, few days we have for the rest of the month I, I pray the Lord help me teach you some practical things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I want to pray for you today Father this year thank you Holy Spirit mm. you are concerned Lord about territories and securing of destinies this year 
So Lord, I pray for everyone watching me right now that truly they will receive wisdom from you to secure their destinies, to secure their territories. I pray no one watching or listening to me right now will become less than wherever you have lifted them to today. I declare that this will be the least they will ever be in their lives. But Lord, you will teach them to secure the inheritance and their territories. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, open their understanding and they may learn. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Praise God. I declare it is well with you. I declare the Lord himself will help you. He will teach you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Bye.